know somebody that is working on a project for more than three months and he hasn't finished it, please send him this video and give him a slap in the face. The first one would be to scratch your own itch. That means do stuff that uh, you need. It's uh, very hard to make a project that somebody else needs because you don't understand the need very well. So for example, if I come up with an idea for my product, the idea usually comes up because I needed it and it wasn't there. So I was like, fuck it, let's just build it. If somebody is just telling me, hey, this would be a great idea, but actually I don't feel the need to build it because I don't feel touched by it. I don't feel like I wish it was in my life. I wouldn't be as passionate as I can to build it. I wouldn't um, actually put balls into it, stay long nights, wake up early to finish it because I'll be very passive about it. So that'll be the first thing. Don't start a project that it doesn't scratch your itch. That means fix the stuff that you that you need fixed in your life. Like that is the first one. The second one is um, f focus on one thing and finish it and fix it sorry so focus on one thing only and fix it we're making for example uh let's say this i'm making a react js job board for example right so people will upload uh jobs in react js and freelancers will see them what is the problem there making a react js job board this means that that is the only thing i will focus into fixing i will not fucking fix stuff that they didn't ask me to. For example, I will not care about the profile of the freelancers. I will not care about the freelancers being followed. I will not care about a notifications panel. I will not care about getting a profile photo. I don't care about writing your bio. I don't care about any of these things. All I care about is upload a job and apply for a job. Simple, just fix the problem, okay? What I'm saying here is focus. Okay, do not fix what doesn't need to be fixed. And also do not add stuff that is not needed. Okay, it might look nice, all right. It might be useful and maybe Instagram has it, so you want it. Maybe Twitter has it, so you want it. But think about it. Do I really need that on my product? Do now, the last thing I think, it would be don't stop caring about how elegant the code is. You do not need elegant code. You do not need fastest code. You don't need the perfect React component in the most complex one. You don't need that. Imagine, uh, no, remember that the best code is the code that is finished, is the code that people are using, okay? Trust me, I have spent so much fucking time trying to find out how to do something, not because I needed it, but because it's just, I just wanted to do it because it was cool, because it was so elegant, because there's still stuff on the applications that I would like to learn how to do or that I wish I could do. And I didn't do it because I didn't know how and it would have taken me too long to do it and it wasn't needed. That is a problem. So I think that's it. I hope that this small rant a conversation gave you any idea on how to fix it and finish it because really the point of this is to finish it. Nothing matters if you don't finish. You need to have a portfolio and you need to have something to show for at the end of the day. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you hate it. Please share with me the tips that you have in how do you pressure yourself, not pressure, sorry, but how, what do you do to finish it up quicker? I know somebody that is working on a project for more than three months and he hasn't finished it. Please send him this video and give him a slap in the face. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, eat the kimchi and go take a shower because you stink. Bye-bye.